The last pick series is over. Its replacement is still a few months out. But for a man as outrageous as Tarek, I'll make an exception. I'll bring it back. For one last episode. Are you last pick? Are you getting stuck with support? Well, fear not, motherfucker, because I'm about to change your world with this rework Tarek. I love the Tarek rework. Riot somehow managed to take the manliest champion in the game and elevate him to new heights. His kit, his looks, his animations, everything is just dripping with his manly essence and it is fantastic. To everyone who worked on this rework, you did a fabulous job. And that's coming from the manliest man in the entire League of Legends community. But before I even get into his abilities, we need to talk about his animations. Look at this majestic bastard. He's fucking gliding. This right here is one of the best additions to the game since the release of Yasuo. And look at this. How do you even compete with that? This is one of the best additions to the game since the new champion select. And we can't forget about this gem. Now, this is the dance of a real man. Shh. You hear that? That's the sound of panties dropping worldwide. Even his regular running animation is the most majestic thing I've ever seen in this game. Like, he doesn't even look like he wants to hurt you. He looks like he's chasing after you in a field of flowers, and when he catches up to you, he's just gonna grab you in those big, strong arms of his and just tickle you. What? Lucy Kun? Come back! I'm getting the strange one. <laughs> but I can assure you, if you're on the enemy team, you're gonna wish he just wanted to tickle you. Truth be told, Tarek is probably too strong right now. He's likely to be nerfed in the coming patch, but let's take a look at what he can do. His passive is what makes him so fun. Every time you cast an ability, your next two auto attacks have increased attack speed, do bonus magic damage, and reduce the cooldowns of your basic abilities. Once you get laid into the game, you will literally slap the shit out of anyone who tries to talk shit about your gorgeous hair. His Q is a really shitty heal that gets slightly less shitty if you wait the 10 hours for it to get fully stacked, but really, its best use will be for slapping them even faster with your metrosexual manhammer. His W is basically Callista's passive, but completely different other than the binding thing, because not only does he grant a shield to his target, but he creates this link between them that duplicates his abilities. This is one of the coolest parts of his kit because you can pull off some incredibly dazzling plays and really make a big difference in fights, if your teammates can ever land the fucking stop. And as you can clearly see, Tarek is not a man that can be tied down by a single man or woman. He is a lover, so you can change your linked buddy at any time. His E is this really weird line skill shot stun that moves with you and takes about 5 minutes to get used to, but once you get used to it, oh boy, that's when you'll truly begin to shine. Combine this with everything I said before, your buddy who duplicates your abilities, your passive that lets you slap the shit out of them, and your shitty heal that lets you get your stun back faster, all of this comes together to create a truly outrageous kit. And then we have his ultimate. Holy fucking moly, this ultimate is a make or break ability. This is what will separate the good Tareks from the manliest of alpha males. After waiting for about 30 minutes for this damn thing to come down, all allies within the circles are involved for 2.5 seconds. If you use this ability correctly, you can save your team from taking a shit ton of damage and single-handedly turn the entire fight around. There's no doubt that Tarek's kit is incredibly strong, but honestly, Tarek can save his allies with his silky smooth voice alone. Here, listen to this shit. These gems aren't just for show. Beauty can be deadly. And manly. Very manly. Shine on, you crazy diamond. Wait a minute. Crazy Diamond slaps the shit out of anyone who insults his glorious hair, heals everyone he touches. Oh God! みんな私が守る。君に恨みはないが倒してしまうよ。するわけないでしょ。待って待って。考えちゃう。ところで、モグ。行け。傷。敵の意志を砕け。<laughs> With all of this, Tarek is easily one of the better supports in the game right now. But Twin and Mono, what about Tarek in the top lane? Oh, I'm glad you asked. Many Tarek players wondered whether his top lane would stay intact with the rework. Well, I'm here to tell you that yes, and it's better than ever. 
Look at this. Just use your passive and you'll win. I'm not kidding. Just use your passive and you will win as long as you're able to keep slapping the shit out of them. And since you're a top laner, you can rush all the wonderfully balanced tank items in the game and become literally unkillable. Just the sight of you happily skipping towards them will make your opponents run in fear. Also, pro tip, if you want to be extra troll, get an ohm wreck up. Yeah, remember that item? Get that and then just run up to some poor motherfucker and use the active. If you look closely, you can see the light in Ezreal's eyes fade as he accepts his place in the world. Tarek's rework is one of the best jobs Riot's ever done. They truly managed to capture what it is to be a man in this champion. I was so inspired by this that I felt that I had to step up my game. I dug down deep within myself to pull out every ounce of manliness that I have within me. As the manliest man in the community, I need to ascend to a new level of masculinity and truly become the Gem God. I'm much more than a pretty face.